G'day, today in episode 428 of Trent365, we take a look at vitamin vaping. Remember vaping? It was all the rage a couple of years ago. These days, I know there's some cities where it's actually banned, you can't even sell it anymore. Um, but it's still around, obviously, as an alternative to smoking. But the interesting thing that's happening now is that there's companies coming out like Spark, S-P-A-R-Q, and there's Vitamin Vape that are basically saying now you can vitamin, you can vape your vitamins, you can inhale vitamins rather than take pills or take injections or shots. And the scary thing about this is there's a lot of talk about the data and the research and the science behind it. But the little bit that I've looked at, looked at about it, there's not a lot of real valid current science. There's reports going back from the 50s and 60s. Obviously, there's a lot of advances since then. Um, and a lot of the other stuff that, that's out there backed as research or, or claimed as research is kind of sketchy, to say the least. Now, I'm not saying there's actually anything wrong with it. I don't know. But I think if you're going to go down the vitamin vaping route, I think you have to seriously have a look at the science behind it. Otherwise, it's just going to be another one of these fads that ends up getting more people in trouble than it actually helps. So don't jump on the vitamin vaping wagon just yet until you check the science behind it. I think there's actually a hell of a lot more science and research that needs to be done before we decide, number one, is it any good? And number two, does it actually do some harm rather than good? Alrighty, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. Smoke gets you.